You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host and uh, returning fan favorite, Paul Engel. Hello, Mark. Library. Hey, Paul. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, Library is a happening place always. Yes, it is. Um, we're in March now. Yep. And let's hope the weather gods are favorable to us and we don't get paid back for the rest of the winter. Uh, it's not what I'm hearing, but... <laughs> I know, I know. But still, library is a nice warm place to it go, uh, both in spirit and in content, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, we're not going to date this too much except the first thing. Right. March 2nd, Saturday, 2 to 4, Philip Hesaurus is going to talk about his book, mm -hmm. The Light of the, the Moon. The Light of the Moon. Okay. Yep. And I got a chance to preview that book. That's I was right. not a good editor. I'll be honest with you. And I still apologize <laughs> to Phil about that. But I heard an excerpt from it at the last poetry reading. Right. And if it's even, you know, one sixteenth as good as what I heard, it's fabulous. Yeah. Philip has his heart and soul in that poetry. The poetry series that's been going strong at the library. I saw the last time a 13-year-old girl. Yeah, I know. Wasn't she great? And she was phenomenal. And her parents were there, and her brother was there, mm -hmm. and everybody was proud. I barely could open a poetry book and read it back in high school, back in the day. <laughs> and now I have much more of an appreciation for it through the, through this program. Nice. So, um, and Phil's an author. He wrote all the poetry in that book, mm -hmm. and he wants to share it with the greater Brockton community. Yeah, and he'll be joined by a, a cellist from the Brockton Symphony exactly. accompanying him. Yes, and that is even better. So mm -hmm. you have poetry and you have music. What could be We've better? been talking about music <laughs> since you got hired, Paul, and it's, it's come to pass. So uh, we're going to kind of do maybe the non-dated things at the moment. You can go to the library and have free tax help, correct? That's right. That's okay. right. Yeah, neighbor, neighbor Works. Neighbor Works is, is partnering up with us. It's on, uh, i got to put my glasses back on, Yeah. Uh, Mondays, right? Mondays from 4 to 8, we're doing um, tax prep for under a certain uh, economic level, right. it's free tax uh, tax uh, preparation. Right. It runs every Monday at, at the library until uh, until April till till tax season ends. Right. And I believe it's also happening at Massasoit. It is. It is. I don't know the yeah, dates not, and times, I, but it's 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 on the website. Yeah, yeah. And NeighborWorks is a great community partner. And the only day it won't happen is on the actual tax day itself, because the library will be closed. That's right. We have a little extra time because of. Patriots, Patriots Day. Day is, I is, think we get an extra day. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, um, we have our new, is it reference library? Uh, or teen well, library? Uh, she's a reference librarian, but she's focusing um, on the teens. teens. Kelly Gates. Kelly Gates. And okay. she's been doing lots of great stuff getting our teen programs reignited again. And, and one of the things that she's doing that I think is great is called Girls Who, Girls Who Code Club. So she's tying into some of the makerspace thing that Pat's doing with coding. She's tying into some of the stuff that's happening in the children's room around Brockton Kids Can Code. Right. And so we're kind of creating a whole, a whole synergy there around STEM and, and, and around coding. And then she's using uh, programs that are readily available and, and, and curriculum that's out there on the web. You don't need any coding experience. You just show up uh, and... Uh, and learn how to code. And, and it's, you're never too young and you're never too old to learn how to code. So after school Tuesdays. After school Tuesdays. Three to four. In the teen room, yep. In the teen room, which is on the main floor. Right. Okay. And then uh, we call the library the People's University. That's right. So College to Career Readiness. Right. There's a program for that that Melissa's is doing. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's running on, I believe it's every other Saturdays, but don't quote me on that, um, from 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do know it's a, it's a regular, regularly scheduled program. It might be every week, knowing, knowing Melissa's energy. And if you want to find out where it is all at, it's, it's www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org. Yep. Everything's on the everything's website. Everything's on the website. Go to the events and, and click on, on, on events, and you'll see all this stuff. And there's a calendar there. Yep. Event Keeper does it. It's all listed. There's all sorts of detail in there. And um, the other thing is the library's done a great job, your staff, with... Um, Doing Facebook events with yes. different things that, that go on. There's a newsletter. That's it's right. online. Or you can have a paper copy right in the lobby if you want to be old-fashioned like me and have mm -hmm. the paper copy. Mm -hmm. I like the Facebooks, though, because I can click interested, and then I can it kind of goes, right goes to my calendar. So that's yeah. the way to do it. Yeah. Um, the other thing is uh, not too early to promote uh, ArtSmart. Tell Art, us about that. ArtSmart is a, a, a um, it's kind of a homegrown uh, um, um, 
um, contest that the library runs where, where students at Brockton High, I believe, I don't know if we go younger than that, but certainly Brockton High students uh, um, will submit artwork for, for a, a contest. We, we have them all in the, in the art gallery, in the, in the uh, Driscoll Gallery upstairs on the, on the top floor of the library. And people come in and they look at the art and they're, what, what moves them they vote for. And ultimately the winner of that is, is awarded a prize. They have first, a second, and a third prize. And then we hang their, uh, the winning art in, in, the, uh, in the library for a while, I guess, maybe a year or so. Mm. Um, and it's, it's great because you get to see the, the Brockton High talent, you know, which is always, uh, it's always amazes me what I, what I see coming out of there from an artistic point of view, me being a musician and all. It's, just, it's, it's a great arts program over there. It sure is. And um, I go back years. In high school, one of my best friends was an artist. He drew the yearbook cover for our class and the class before, mm -hmm. and he ended up being an architect nice. from all of his art work at starting in West Middle School, or no, I think he was at East. Mm -hmm. And then he went to Brockton High and perfected his craft, and um, he was better than I at math, so the reason yeah. I couldn't be an architect is you need to do math <laughs> if you're yeah. an architect. I used to like to draw houses and stuff. I wanted to be the Mike Brady from the Brady Bunch <laughs> architect and design houses, but the math just didn't <laughs> work. So Art Smart is a great thing, and I know we also participate with the teachers at Brockton High and that's the right. students. That's and, exactly and right. And that's later on the time. And lastly, I'm not sure where we have for time if we're at five or three at this point, but Mass Memories is in May, right. but there's stuff leading up to that. Tell right. us about that. Well, the Mass Memories Roadshow is a UMass Boston-sponsored program then yeah, and they're going around the state trying to capture historical information about locations, about cities and towns of Massachusetts through photographs and, and newspapers and other realia like that. So they come down, they set up shop for a day, and, and people are encouraged to bring photos of their families, any, anything they want to bring as far as photographic evidence of, of Brockton, of the city of Brockton, of the history of Brockton. And they will uh, collect metadata scan the images, give the image back to you, it never leaves your possession. Mm -hmm. And then um, that image, all that stuff, all the, all the metadata will go up on the, on the Mass Memories Roadshow website, and then we get a copy of everything so we can have it, we can present it in our own way if we, if we want to. And the idea really is to, is to tell the stories about, about Brockton. And it's May 18th, uh, which is a Saturday, it runs all day. You don't yeah. have to be there all day. It, it usually Just takes about 30 to 40 minutes to get through the whole thing. Okay. And um, we're having some, uh, some uh, events kicking off. The, this, uh, we're having some planning meetings. We had one this past Tuesday. Uh, I think we're having, the next one is next. Uh, is, is, it's on the website. It's on the website. It's, okay. it's a, the next one I think is a Saturday. But we want people involved. We want the community involved. We want people to come that day, but we also looking for volunteer help. We're looking for volunteer play. help, and yeah, we certainly want Brockton to show up. We're hoping we can get a, we, I want us to have the, the best showing ever in the history of Mass Memories Roadshow. That's my goal. <laughs> and I'm with you, and I'll, I'll be there and help myself. So uh, the library main phone number, 508-580-7890. That's right. There's like a menu prompt. Uh, the branches have been open more this year. That's right. Um, we're heading into budget season, and we're hoping for all the support. Again, full disclosure, I'm the chair of the library board. I love the library. That was my first job. But we're the community center. Mm -hmm. we're, we bring Brockton together. You have symphony in the library. Right. We have poetry in the library. We have coding. Mm -hmm. I got the rap cue, so I'm going to say goodbye, <laughs> Paul. Thank Mark, you. Thank you. And you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.